Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with the Eagles' first pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. Tight end Dallas Goddard here at the NovaCare Complex day one. And I was with you coming from the airport. Um, what has happened in the couple of hours since then? You know, in the, in the last couple of hours, I, uh, they fed me really good food right good. away, which was nice. Um, then after that, I just went around and uh, met all the coaches, all the personnel people and all that, and then sat down and just uh, – Got to know Coach Peel a little bit better, and then uh, just got done with an interview with a lot of people. Da- Dallas, is, is it what you expected it would be? I mean, I know you spent a lot of months preparing for this moment. Um, you know, people ask me that, like, all the time, if, you know, what my emotions are going to be like and uh, if I know what's going to happen. And, you know, I'd give them a little answer, but, you know, what happened was nothing what I expected. The feelings were uh, so much different and so much uh, more than what I expected. And, you know, coming here right away, it's, it's been awesome. But, you know, uh, it's the first time doing it, so it's a little bit different than I thought it would be. Have you taken deep breaths and kind of just tried to slow your mind down and appreciate the moment? You know, I tried to. Um, my family was so happy when I got drafted. And um, ever since then, you know, they've been telling me how proud they are of me and all that stuff. So it's been hard to t- take a step back and breathe. Uh, Coach Peel did have me do that in his office that one. So that was <laughs> nice. That was nice. 24 hours ago, midday on Friday, Prior to the second rounds of the draft, what were you doing? How were you kind of getting ready for what could have been a very huge night and, in fact, turned out to be that way? Yeah, so I um, tried to sleep in as long as I could to make the day as short as possible. <laughs> I had uh, eight buddies from South Dakota State there with me, uh, so we went to the gun range, uh, shot some clay pigeons, um, shot some pistols, um, did some uh, kind of outdoors things, spent some time out there, tried to get my mind off it, uh, not worry too much about where I was going to get picked. So I just kind of spent the, d- the day outdoors. Where were you one year ago? 2017 draft, thinking ahead maybe, perhaps at that time you thought the NFL was a real possibility. Yeah, you know, last year at this time, I guess it was would have been Christmas time, I thought about declaring for the NFL draft early, um, ended up staying, which uh, was a great decision, got me here, um, and I'm thankful for that. But so for the draft, I was just watching it, um, kind of comparing myself to the tight ends that were getting taken in the first round. I think there was three last year, so uh, just trying to compare myself to them. And how did, it, how did you compare? How did you think you compared from a physical standpoint, from a kind of an intellectual on the field standpoint? Yeah, from what I saw, um, I believe in my athletic abilities tremendously, and I think I compare uh, to any tight end in uh, the draft or the league really well. And then I think uh, my football IQ is really smart or really high. And I think I'm going to uh, pick up offenses really well, so I'm excited to do that. How do you develop a high football IQ? Is it something that's natural? Um, I think it's a little bit natural. Ever since I was a little kid, I always understood uh, sports, and my mom told me that. She's like, uh, sometimes I saw things that she didn't even though she was the coach. Um, and then uh, going through it, you know, at South Dakota State, I was able to play every position on the field. And then just by doing that, I felt like I was able to learn defenses better, which helped uh, my offensive game. In school at South Dakota State, an operations management major Favorite class? Uh, probably project management. So that's just kind of, uh, you know, it's from the beginning to the very end. Um, you set it up, uh, what's going to happen each week, what supplies you need, where you're going to get it. Um, and it's just uh, a lot of numbers, a lot of calculating things, and uh, I really enjoy that. So you, you come in here and you've been very confident, you've been very relaxed. Has it felt natural as you've kind of gone along? Yeah. Um, I mean, any, any interview that I go into or uh, meeting with coach and they're uh, giving me little tests and stuff, I mean, football's football for the most part, and I believe in my abilities, like I said, so I'm just excited to come here and uh, kind of do what the coaches let me do. Dallas, you spoke to the media a short time ago. You mentioned the GoFundMe page in a joking manner, as people maybe suggest that your first name should be changed to Philly. Um, how, how significant has that been? I mean, is it just kind of a, a small little murmur right now, or People kind of serious about this. Um, I think people are a little bit serious about it. I don't know if Philly fans like uh, cheering for Dallas, even though if, if it's just a name. You know, I think it's hard for them to say, like, go Dallas, because, you know, it's Philly and Dallas rivalry. Um, so I think it's uh, kind of serious. Um, we'll see if it dies down a little bit later. But Well, you know, Eagles fans will say, and you'll hear it a lot, Dallas sucks. Yeah. So don't take it personally. I'll do my best. Dallas Goder, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Great first day. What, what actually does happen in the days to come? Do you stay around for a while? Do you go back home and then report back to Novacare? Yeah, I'm going back home uh, tomorrow. I'll be there for about two weeks, and I'll come back for rookie minicamp. All right, well, we'll see you then. Yes. Dallas, thanks so much.